Good morning and benvenuti to my home uh, here in uh, Northamptonshire. My name is Aldo Bosco. I'm uh, co-owner and group CEO of the Midland Food Group in uh, the UK. Um, give you a little bit of background. Well, I'm uh, at home for 12 weeks because I'm uh, considered high risk, I am. So I'm working from home and uh, the team are battling away with uh, this unprecedented time. So Eleanor and the team thought um, I'd use my time well while I'm here. Anybody that knows me knows that uh, at work I'm always in the kitchen. Uh, I'm an untraditional CEO. I love cooking. I love food. My Italian heritage. So, so lucky um, that I really I made my passion my living and now my living is my passion, which is food. So I thought, well, I'm here at home, so I may as well knock up some basic recipes with the um, our friend here, the humble tomato, really. So these are some of the products that we do within the Midland Food Group with our new online service, which, you know, we the fresh pasta, our granola pasta, it's fresh basil garlic. And really the objective is that I want you to share food with me. You know, Italian, we're hospital. We are, we're about sharing. My home is your home, Casa Nostra, Casa Vostra. It is, and I'm eating every day and I'm keeping myself active and healthy. Only one walk a day, <laughs> I am. But I wanna share what we can do with the humble tomato. Um, it's so underrated, you know, a product that um, is grown, sweet, from Italy, and it's just so misused here in the UK. And to us, the first thing I want to do when I go to my home in Italy and we're landing in Naples, the first thing I want is the spaghetti pomodoro, without a shadow of a doubt. Good quality tomato, extra virgin olive oil, garlic, fresh basil, great quality pasta. What more do you want? Basic ingredients, but fantastic food. And today, really, I'm just going to do a basic sauce that from there you can take it any way you want. Add mozzarella, you've got caprese, you know, add Parmesan cheese and a straight pomodoro, you got it. Add anything in the fridge, vegetables, courgette, aubergine, whatever. We're gonna do it. And what I'm gonna do, if you like what I'm doing, every day that I cook my meal, I'll video it, I'll go through the ingredients with you, and then it's maybe something that we can cook together for the future. Uh, look, guys, so let me make something straight. I'm not here to say I'm a, a chef, because I don't actually agree with chefs, because I believe in cooks. My mum was a cook, not a chef. When I'm home in Italy, Sunday mornings is about that perfume that everybody cooks the classic ragu in the south of Italy. And everybody, in literally every household has their own scent. It's just amazing. It is, and I used to remember Sunday mornings as a child waking up, smelling mum cooking the sauce, couldn't wait for lunchtime. One o'clock, Italy shuts down for food, we eat. So it's about me doing my version of it quick something that you can do fast when you get home and really keep healthy and enjoy but i'm not here to you know to take away any recipes i know how to make a classic ragu slow cooking four hours blah 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 i know all that but that's not what this is about this is about having a bit of fun in my home trying to keep myself as busy like you guys i'm human like you are and just trying to amuse myself and if we can get something out of it happy days so anyway what we're going to start with, a bowl, so a quick tomato sauce, can of the humble tomato. So I'm going to try and move this down here, I am, so you can have a look at what we're doing. In there, garlic press. Yeah, don't even bother taking the, the, the skin off, these peelers are amazing aren't they? straight into the, the, the tomatoes. One, two garlic heads. So what I would do, I would do a couple of cans of tomato because if you're not putting any meat in it, you really don't have to worry about um, how long you keep it because it basically will will hold, you know, for a, a week with a, with a good lid and airtight container. Some basil, good old basil. And the most important thing, a good, olive oil, sprinkle it in there. Now at this stage, I don't add salt, believe it or not, because salt is, a, is sort of a curer, it is. And I've, I would add it as and when you're, you're gonna use it and just cook it. But what you need is one of these bad boys, Mr. Blender, and just blend away. Now don't over blend, because what we like it, we have a saying in it called polpada, is that we don't want it pureed, we just want it pulpy. 
well, because it just gives it a little bit of texture, gives it that little bit of bite that everybody wants. And there we are. Literally took seconds. That's your basic tomato sauce. That is. Now, from there, you could literally make a spaghetti pomodoro. Now, in the time that the spaghetti takes to cook, you're done. Literally eight minutes. And the next thing I'm going to do, we're going to cook a spaghetti pomodoro together. And we're going to enjoy it. So I'll be back soon. I'm going to get away, get to that, because I've never done this before. So I'm, I'm learning as we go along. And I'll see you soon. Ciao, un abbraccio.